Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd just show you a quick couple of mods that I did. Um, I'm sh on the MiG-29, and uh, one of them is just moving the blue box, which I, is a pain in the ass. Um, so I just moved it from here, and just moved it right into the corner uh, over here. Uh, it's on a Velcro uh, pad, so it shouldn't be uh, too bad to try and retrieve it. Also. I put on uh, the Assant side slip gyro, that really helps a lot as well too, uh, for the nose wheel. Um, if you don't have one on your jets, get it, it's awesome. Uh, the other change too, I don't know if you can see it down in there, but um, I changed the stock free wing uh, BC and just put a 15 amp uh, BC in there and running the voltage at 5.5 .5 volts as opposed to the 5 volts that they have just to add a little bit more grunt if you will uh, for the power for the servos and the elevators and then I'll show you what I've done I can't do this with two hands so I'm just going to put that down and I'm going to flip this sucker over And show you what I've done over here. So um, I decided to take out the existing uh, motors that they had, uh, being the nine blade. I think it's like 1920 kVs. Uh, I had these FMS uh, motors sitting on the bench, so I decided to put them in, which is the 2100 Platinum uh, series uh, motors. Uh, as well as the Castle 100 um, ESCs as well, uh, partially because they've got a reverse thrusting capability to help slow the plane down in short field situations. And these motors, I'm just going to put them as an upgrade for my uh, F-14. And I also uh, upgraded the servos for the elevators and put in the high-tech um, D85s. And the linkage here, I'm also going to fix that because I'm not too crazy about how kind of loose and wobbly it is there. Um, not too crazy about that at all. And because uh, this motor is definitely going to be asking for more air, um, I thought that I should address the Mac ducts. Um, and the Mac ducts, um, these were the original, so this is the original size of the Mac ducts. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I just increased the size probably by about 30% just to help feed it a bit as well. I think this is going to come in handy. Uh, for the thrust vectoring um, add-on uh, whenever that comes into stock so you got easier air feeding the motor um, and I think that's about it so anyways uh, hopefully it works out uh, and get to maiden it this weekend I'll let you guys know what sort of power performance uh, I get out of it anyways take it easy cheers